Hey everyone. So the BSA R10TH comes with a consumer customizable shroud. So let's see how consumer customizable it is. Check it out. Okay, here we go then. So I've always wanted to see what this thing looks like without a shroud on it. Um, you can take the shroud off, split the silencer off, and put the silencer back on, and it comes shroudless. Okay, uh, I have also heard this thing is a bit like Marmite. Now, I actually like the look of my gun. It is what I like. Okay, some people might not like it. It goes a little bit like one of my last videos and the link to that's up there when I said some people don't like the black with the wood cheap piece effect, okay? Me, like it, all right? So let's see how easy this is. All right, so we need to set the shroud off and the silencer in one piece. I think what I'll do, no, let's try without this, so. There we go, that's starting to turn. It should just slide off. There you go. One shroud, one silencer, one piece. We'll have a look at that in a minute. There's the hammer forge barrel, and this piece should just unscrew. Now, be aware there's a lot of gun grease going around, so it might be an idea. Just keep a piece of workshop cloth around and place everything on a piece of workshop cloth as well. This has all got grease in it, very fine threads, and you don't want any dust or grit getting in there when you're screwing it all back on. Okay, so this piece, look at that, it's that piece there. Screws on, screws on down here. Bit fiddly, I've still got the scope on. I'm not going to do it too tight because what I'll do is I want to return it all back to the shroud because remember what I said, I like it and I might not like this. Okay, so. Shroud and silencer, they should separate. There we go. Fairly easy. Okay, shroud over here. There's a silencer and all the baffling that goes with it. And this piece there connects to the silencer. And we'll just nip that up, not too tight. And our silencer connects to the barrel, like so. So guys, shroud on, shroud off. It's totally your choice. It don't look too bad, but I kind of like the, sh this is quite old school. I quite like the chunky monkey feel of the, the shroud on. It goes with the rest of the gun. It's quite stocky, compact, little, little gun, a bit chunky with the extended bottle and everything. I quite like it with the shroud on, but it's not a disaster with it off, is it? Quite like it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, look at this. It's not too bad. Now, I have heard in some corners that there is a bit of a 
sound thing going on by about three or four decibels. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know what three or four decibels should sound like. Would it be important? I guess so. Um, I read uh, somewhere that with a shroud on it's around about 88 decibels. Um, shroud off just above 90, maybe 92, 93, something like that. I believe I, I did read that somewhere. Um, I don't have the equipment to test that. Um, and I'm not going to trust an app on my phone. I'd rather use something quite good for this. All right. Um, if any of you guys out there have ever done this, please comments below. Uh, let me know uh, what the decibel readings are on one of these shrouded. And if you can, one of them shroudless as well. well. There you go, guys. Um, let's quickly put it all back to the way it was, because that's the way I like it. So I'll just do the silencer. Undo the attachment. Silencer back on the shroud. Nip that back up. Put, take the adapter off of here. Off the ring, yeah. Nice little adapter back on the end of the barrel as well. Careful not to cross thread it. They are very fine threads. Grab the whole assembly, slide it all back on. Feel that go over this uh, O ring on that adapter. You can feel it just go, and yeah, we all. Technical noise that. And then you get that all back up. I'm not going to go too tight with it. Do a little hold on. And I want to take it off. I don't want to have to get any grippers, plumbers grippers or something on there. Uh, feels quite robust and solid, but I don't want to risk damaging that in this nice matte black finish. So there you go everyone, okay. Uh, there's my little video on how to remove the consumer configurable shroud on the BSA R10TH. Like I said, a bit like Marmite, you're either going to love it or you hate it. I actually prefer mine shrouded, just my opinion. It doesn't offend me with the shroud off. But that's just the way it is, okay? If you like the video, please do hit the like button. And if you like what you see and want to see a bit more, please subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon.